What's up guys, Dan the Great HD here, and uh, welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls V Skyrim tutorial. Now you might be asking yourself, hey Dan, why are you on your desktop? Aren't you making a Skyrim tutorial? Well of course I am, but uh, I'm actually not going to be showing you guys how to do something inside the game. I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, let Skyrim use up to 4 gigs of RAM instead of 2 gigs of RAM, which it is capped at uh, when it comes um, you know, in the retail version. Which is unfortunate. Something to do with the Fallout 3 limitation, uh, limitations with the engine or something like that. But uh, that all doesn't matter. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that shit today. And uh, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is go to um, www.ncore.com. And let's just go ahead and go there. That will bring us to this little website. And we're going to click on products here at the top. And we're going to click on explorer, which is freeware. And from there, I don't know if you want to read this, be my guest, but it's just, you know, information about the uh, program. I'm not going to read it. Um, but yeah, here click, you can click on download. And uh, after that, you know, message will pop up. Just say yes, save, whatever. Um, but yeah, save it to somewhere <laughs> where you'll be able to fi find it after. Uh, but I already downloaded this, so I'll just uh, minimize that. And I'll open, where is it? Somewhere on my desktop. Oh, by the way, I don't care if you guys see Prawn or, like, you know, pirated shit on my desktop. Honestly, <laughs> who gives a shit? But, um, yeah, there it is. Explorer.exe. Let's run that. Run. So, here's the installer for it. Let's just go ahead and press Next. And here I'm going to install it to my D drive. I have a... That's my program files drive. I like to keep my Windows on my C drive and all my other useless shit on my D. So, yeah, we're going to install it here. And I'm, I think it's called... CFF, what is it called? Yeah, Explorer. Let's just name it Explorer. Sweet, sweet, whatever, however the fuck you pronounce it. Um, Alright, here we'll create the pro. Yeah, sure, whatever. Install. There you go, it's done installing. And something will pop up. No, no, nothing. There it is. Alrighty. So here it is. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, open it up here. No, I don't want my System32. Uh, you're gonna navigate to your. Um, program files, well, wherever you installed Skyrim, so the default um, directories, basically, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, C, program files, and if you're 64-bit, then x86 at the end of program files, and uh, in there, it should be, like, Bethesda, and then Skyrim, but um, I'll probably write it in the description. But yeah, here it is, and we'll go ahead and double-click on tesv.exe, open. Now, what you actually uh, want to do now, before we actually do this, uh, you want to navigate to your directory. No, not that. Uh, kind of closed it here. Program files, Skyrim. There you go. And there it is. And you want to make a backup of it. So just go ahead, copy that, and then paste it. There you go, copy. And then you can rename that to um, tesv.exe back. So basically, backup or backup. There you go. Yes, I want to change it. And there you go, it's backed up. And uh, the reason you want to do this is actually because um, when you want to install an update, the updater will think that um, your executable is like modified or like hacked or something, and it won't let you uh, update it. So basically, you just need to delete the modified one. Uh, and uh, Spe Spears is messaging me. Um, and say, hey, what's up? You're on camera. Woo! <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, but yeah, woo! <laughs> What's he saying here? Ah, oh, fuck you. He's a French hater, man. He hates on French people. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's backed up. It's basically um, when you want to install an update, just you know, delete the modified one and then rename this back to exe, and then you know you can install you can install the update from then because then it will recognize the original exe. But uh, now that that's backed up, uh, here what you do is you see here file header click on that and then here you click here and you there's like a list of uh, shit that pops up here and here it says app can handle over two gigs of ad, ad address space yeah address space uh, you go ahead and uh, tick that you press OK and there you go that's all there is to it you just save it yes overwrite and there you go it's done now your Skyrim will be able to use more than two gigs of RAM um, on your system. 
Uh, for Steam users, for the people that have this game on Steam, you won't actually be able to run the game from your library with this, because Steam will go, oh, you know, wrong exe, herp derp, I know everything. So, uh, yeah, you, you know, you, uh, you have to go to your directory here. You know, not to worry, it's very easy, you need to go to your directory, your Skyrim directory, in program files, and uh, just go ahead and copy tsv.exe, copy that, and paste the shortcut, so right click on your desktop wherever you want, paste shortcut, and then obviously rename this to uh, Skyrim or something. I already have a shortcut for it on uh, my desktop, so you can just go ahead and delete that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, remember, when you want to update your game, just go ahead and uh, delete this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Obviously, I'll go in the recycle bin restore it after, but delete that, and then just rename this back to the original one. And that's it. You know, you can update now. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This was Dan the Great HD, and uh, make sure you subscribe for a lot more Skyrim content and uh, Battlefield 3, everything. You know, I, I do everything on my channel tutorials, uh, commentaries, uh, everything, you know, reviews. Um, but yeah, peace, guys.